Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. I am Abdul Salam from Birmingham, UK. Is celebrating birthday parties permissible in Islam? A similar question is asked by Aisha from Chicago, USA. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. If celebrating birthday is not permissible in Islam because of the un Islamic activities done, then can we call our friends on the birthday and have an Islamic lecture and Islamic activities? A question on a similar topic. My name is Abdul Moiz. I am from Indian illegally occupied Kashmir. My question to you is whether wishing birthday to someone is permissible in Islam or not. So all these three questions are related to birthdays. The first question is, is it permissible to celebrate birthdays? The second is that can we, if the activities are not Islamic, can we have a birthday party with Islamic activities? And the third is, can we wish happy birthday to others? As far as birthday is concerned, our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that there are only two festivals in Islam. Two annual festivals. They are the Eidans. The Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. The first is after the Ramzan ends, that Eid al-Fitr. And the second is Eid al-Adha, that we have the Eid of Sacrifice. These two are the only Eid that are annual Eid is there, that is permissible to celebrate. And the Prophet also mentioned that the weekly Eid is on Friday. So the one weekly Eid and two annual Eid. These are the celebration. So any celebration which is celebrated annually every year is again the teaching of Islam, except these two, the Eidain, Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. That's the Eid al-Nahar, the Eid of Sacrifice. Birthday is more of a Western culture and people celebrate it. It is not an Islamic culture and it is against the teachings of Islam. So therefore it is not permissible. Any, any celebration which is done on an annual basis, whether it be wedding anniversary, whether it be Valentine's Day, whether it be Mother's Day or whether it be Teacher's Day, all these type of days or annual celebration except for the two Eid are not permissible in Islam. If you have a normal party for graduation, no problem. If you have a marriage and you have a party and a celebration for marriage, as long as nothing haram is done in that celebration, is permitted. So celebrating things which are good like marriage or graduation at one time, no problem. But making it an annual affair, you start saying, I will have wedding anniversary, so this is not permissible in Islam. This is the main basic ruling. There are other reasons why it is not permitted. Many of the things that is done on birthday, it is again the teaching of Islam. If you go back to the history of the birthday cake, how did it originate? We come to know it is from the time of the Greeks. And at that time, in the olden days, they made cake which was honey cake which was round in shape to resemble a moon for worshipping moon god. It was round honey cake resembling a moon and they put candles on it. So this was in reverence to the moon god. Then we have, if you read history we come to know that in Germany, the bakery in 15th century they used to bake cakes, it became common. Then you have in the Roman history and so on and so forth. Today, we have they put candles and depending upon how old are you, if you are 10 years old, they put 10 candles. If you are 20 years old, they put 20 candles. Or sometimes they put one additional candle to say that you are going to spend one more year. And there are many cultures, there are, there are many mm, ideologies, many superstitions. Then people, they wish and then they blow the candles. You know, though people talk of being hygienic, normally when you blow the candle and you blow on the cake 
according to research, when you blow on the cake, the cake has 14 times more germs on it before it was blown. So imagine we talk about hygiene, but we blow the we blow the candles, the candles kept on the cake, and there are germs going onto the cake, and we serve that cake to everyone. We talk about hygiene, talk about science, but this is all unhygienic. There are various other activities associated with birthday which may be haram. For example, today most of the birthday parties they involve music, which is haram. They may involve dancing, which is haram. There may be obscenity, which is haram. So many activities involved are again the teachings of Quran and Sunnah. But the basic thing is celebrating itself is haram. Second reason is because activities may be haram. The question posed is that what if we do not have any haram activities and we have a birthday party and give an Islamic lecture. Is it permissible? Giving Islamic lecture is good. You can do it any time of the year, on any day of the year, but specifically selecting that I was born on this day, 19th of September, and I will have an Islamic lecture because I was born on this day, this again is not permissible. Having Islamic lecture any day is permissible, but having every year only on that one particular day, it is not permissible. Furthermore, many a times birthday celebrations involve celebration of spiritual leaders, of messengers, like Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. This, this leads to shirk. It may involve celebration of celebrities, of famous personalities. This leads to hero worship. All this is against the teaching of Islam. Regarding the last question, that is it permissible to wish someone happy birthday? when celebrating birthday itself is not permissible so where is the question of wishing someone happy birthday normally when a person is born on a particular day the lifespan of every human being has already been determined by Allah in fact when a birthday comes he is going to live for one year less so is it a point to celebrate or is it a point to mourn so there is no concept, it is illogical that you are wishing someone a happy birthday because he has become 20 years old or 30 years old. In fact, he is going closer to his grave. Irrespective of whether he is going closer to the grave or not, celebrating birthday per se is not permitted in Islam. Whether, even if it includes activities which are Islamic, celebrating per se is not permitted. And as I mentioned earlier that with most of the birthdays that we have today, it is associated, associated with shirk, with associated with un-Islamic activities, with music, with dance. That's the reason my advice to the Muslim brothers and sisters, to the Muslim children is that we should stay away from such cultures which are against Islam, against the teaching of the Quran and the Sunnah. And we should not celebrate these annual events, which is not part of the Islamic culture and Islamic teaching. Hope that answers the question.